Today we are going to talk about convergence of left avian onions. So let's start with the units of length. So first we'll take uh, kilometers. Kilo means thousand. So a kilometer is actually 1000 meters. And then we'll take meters. Then we'll take centimeters. And then we'll take millimeters. Well, these are the basic units of length that are used widely. So in order to go from kilometers to meters, what we should do is that, as I told you earlier, that kil K represents kilo. And kilo means 1000. So in order to go from kilometer to meter, we are going to multiply it by 1000. And now we need to go from meter to centimeter for doing so. We are going to multiply by 100. And by going from a centimeter to millimeter, what we should do is that we should multiply it by 10. So this is the basic conversion from all the way from kilometers to millimeters. But what if we need to go back? What if we need to go all the way from millimeters to kilometers. So let's see. from millimeter to centimeter, what we should do is that everything's gonna remain same, just that multiplicator sign at the top will change by a, a division sign. So instead of multiplying by 10, I'm actually going to divide by 10 if I need to go from millimeter to centimeter. After that, if I'm going from centimeter to meter, I'm going to divide by 100 and from meter to kilometers, I'm going to divide by a thousand. So this is the basic conversions of length that you might be dealing with. And I normally call this a conversion train. You can call it whatever you want. So I hope this helps. Okay, now that we are familiar with the conversion chain, so let's do some questions. So let's say that I have 83 kilometers and I need to convert it into centimeters, right? In order to do so over here, we can see that we're going from kilometers to meters. First, we have multiplied by 1000. Then going from meter to centimeter, we have multiplied by 100. So we need to multiply 83 first by 1000 and then by 100. Or we can just add the zeros together, which is much easier. So over here, we have three zeros. Over here, we have two zeros. So that's a total of five zeros. Five zero means 100,000. So what we have to do is that just multiply 83 by 100,000. So we'll get centimeters. We are going to multiply this by one, two, three zeros for going from kilometer to meter, and then two zeros from meters to centimeters. So we are going to multiply it by this. So we'll get eight, three, one, two, three, four, five centimeters. Now let's take a question in which we are going to go from millimeters. Let's take a number, let's say 50 to 100 millimeters and we need to convert it all into meet, uh, meters let's take it into meters okay so we need to convert it into meters so we'll have what we'll have to divide it by first we we'll need to divide it by 10 and then we'll need to divide it by 100 so in total we can add the zero so we'll say that okay we are going to divide by thousand so in order to go from here to here we have to divide it by 1000 so we are going to have 52 100 divided by a thousand actually gives me oh, one more zero actually gives me 5.2 meters so these were a few practice questions of the convergence of length now we'll move on to the conversions of areas and volume